The Legend of the Crystal Lugia. What up, Heart Squad? Today, I will be attempting to pull the rarest crystal Pokemon from one of the rarest Pokemon card sets in the entire world. I'm talking about Aquapolis. Taking a look at this beautiful, beautiful booster box, gracing the cover in ever, ever so amazing fashion is Lugia. In this specific set has by far the most beautiful Lugia card you will ever see. And I'm hoping we pull it today because if we do, and it comes back a PSA 10, that card is worth over $4,500. And for today's opening, as I set this over here for now, I will only be opening up Aquapolis Booster Packs. These packs, each of these goes for over $350. They include nine additional cards compared to today's sets, which has 11 cards. And each of these packs will be opened in this video solely in an attempt to pull the Crystal Lugia. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Aquapolis or any of the other e-reader sets, it, uh, it began in 2002 with the set Expedition. Then there became Aquapolis and then last but not least was Sky Ridge, released in late 2003. This was released in January 2003. Just so you can see the sides of each of the boxes, I'll leave this one on a bit longer just so I can explain the e-reader. Basically, the Game Boy Advance had a peripheral on it where you can actually scan the cards from the three e-reader sets to make it more interactive. And there's the symbol as well. Didn't really become that successful, to be completely honest. Now it's extremely successful as far as the e-reader cards. Boxes like this go for well over $10,000. Expedition Skyridge boxes go for right now between $30,000 to $40,000 each. And this is the second rarest out of all of the e-reader sets. And because this community, this channel, the Heart Squad, y'all, we are on the hashtag road to a million. We are getting close to 1 million subscribers, part of this community. And as such, I want to go as big as possible for the entire time, the entire journey of us getting to hopefully a million subscribers within probably by August, I would hope. Um, but I'm going to go big, not just with today's opening, but for the rest of this week leading up to Saturday's video. Now, I'm going to say this ahead of time. I don't want you to go too, too crazy, but I am almost confident this Saturday I will be opening up another heavy first edition base set booster pack English. You heard that right. Over a month ago, we pulled that is still lost. My $55,000 first edition Charizard card. And we gotta go big. We gotta go big, at least until he's returned home. Charizard, if you're watching this, please come home. And Crystal Nitto King. I gotta say, we also pulled the Crystal Nitto King in that video from some Aquapolis packs. And these are all from my personal collection. I've had these ever since I bought that big, massive storage unit haul back in December of 2019. I've been opening them up since. And I'm like, we pulled the Crystal Nitto King from this. We got to go for the Coup de Gras, the Crystal Lugia. So Heart Squad, I thank you for your patience. If you can, please subscribe to this channel and hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes, Heart Squad. I appreciate the support as always. I know there's been a lot of crazy things going on in the world right now. But if I can offer even somewhat of an escape by doing these crazy openings, that's all what it's about. So, without further ado, just get a little loose and limber. 
Here are, of course, the big heavy-duty sleeves that I have for hopefully what will be lots of holographics and stuff pulled. These are the Giovanni Team Rocket sleeves that were only available, I believe, from that exclusive Team Rocket briefcase that came with the full arts and stuff. I don't know, all the crazy stuff. But let's get into, and just so they're all just really randomized in no specific order, let's get into the first pack. Of course, I will put this box all that is beautiful, Crystal Lugia, I call upon thee, and I apologize for the band-aids on my arm. I have a new puppy, his name is Archie. You may have seen the video that I posted about maybe three weeks ago. He's cute, but he's vicious. He's very, very vicious. All right, so here we go. First pack, I will be showing you the packs just so y'all can out there just verify absolute sealed, no tampering of any sorts. We gotta go big. We gotta go big, guys. Here we go, two cards. Now, I believe the crystal card will be in a different spot if we pull it. Otherwise, wish us luck, wish us luck. And what I love about these e-reader cards, Heart Squad, is the fact not only do they have the little sides like that, which I do like, because it really, really just sets them apart from like any other set, all of the artwork, the illustrations for the E-Series, like Skyridge and Expedition, even some Neo Destinies as well that are not A-Series, but it's just amazing. This probably has the absolute best artwork, the E-Series, especially Skyridge. Quapolis is next, and then Expedition. But here we go. We have a very, very lovely Seeking. I guess that's the St. Anne in the background before its lovely, lovely voyage, and we all know what happened there. And there's the little tower in the background. It's nice. And then I think, is that a, oh, that's a fin. I thought that was like a seagull or something. But in any case, here we go, Aquapolis opening. And look at that artwork, Pokemon Fan Club. This, this card has been uh, throughout the years, decades, has even through recent sets, has been just an absolute marvel of a card simply because of all the characters and Pokemon that are all in the cards and how bright and vibrant each of the cards are. It's absolutely lovely and this one is just as good. Hoppip, this is a claymation style card, I believe. I'm not the most fond of the claymation style cards. They're not bad by any case, unless it's a Ditto that's disguised as a Squirtle, Pikachu, or Bulbasaur, or Charmander. But, uh, but there we go, nothing too crazy, no story on this one. Houndor, I believe we have pulled and passed a Houndoom holographic. This is just a common. It's on a rock. It's about all there is to say about that one. Volpix, and I believe this is a reprint card. Not only specifically for this set, but in some recent sets. Or I've just been opening up too many vintage packs and I just feel like they all are even in recent sets. Next up. Oh, I thought that was a crystal for a sec. I know, so the Crystal Lugia would be in this normal type style. Obviously, you'll know when we pull it, if we do pull it, hopefully we do. Chansey! Oh my gosh, look at those Windows 2001 or Word 2001 graphics. It reminds me of like a terrible, like, terrible MS-DOS game or something like that. And you're trying to avoid the muck monsters or the Grimer monsters. And that's what that would be it for that one. Gold Duck is an uncommon. And once again, there is that lighthouse. Now, Aquapolis was also introduced before in two Japanese sets. And they also have a Crystal Lugia in those sets as well. I don't know off the top of my head which one, if it's in both or if it's just in a specific one. But in any case, it all revolves around some type of island in the city of Atlantis and stuff, technically. Technically. And a lantern non-holographic rare. So we struck out for the very, very first pack. But even, even so the thing about these e-reader sets, guys, as we'll just go into a random Caesar pack, is that each of these packs... The, even the commons and uncommons, and mainly for Skyridge, but for Aquapolis as well, they are all like, valuable in some shape or form, especially like these, where it's bulk Aquapolis. And like I said earlier, all of the cards I'm opening up today uh, packs are all Aquap Aquapolis booster packs. That is it. Pokemon Park. I actually really like this card a lot. It reminds me of like a, a stadium card, basically. <laughs> Or some type of like trophy card or something and Cyndaquil got first place and there's Pikachu just kind of pissed off on the side. Next up is, whoa, 
That's a lot going on that Tyro car, and there looks like a Hitmon Jackie Chan in the background. Hitmon top on the right. Is he lifting weights? There I get a little closer for y'all. Lifting weights on the side, dumbbells, and he's just like, what's going on over there? So pretty cool looking card. I like I said, I love the artwork. Has all the uh evolves into Hitmon Chan, Hitmon Lee, and Hitmon Top. Love it. Very, very cool. Next up, a Chansey once again. It's Laboratory Chansey. I believe there's a Laboratory Porygon in this, and that's just the name I made up. Magnemite. I do absolutely love like the type of like abstract or watercolor artwork of this Magnemite card. Uh, and I tell you what, like I'm uh, just a big, big fan of artwork for the Pokemon TCG in general. I'm sure you've seen my previous videos where I just keep on going crazy about it. And uh, since this has arguably such amazing, like this, Drowsy, the original Drowsy sitting in a tree. And then I don't know how he gets off to be completely honest, but very nice card. Slowpoke, sleeping, kind of what he does best, and eating, and biting. Sneasel, non-holographic, it's just a common, okay. I thought that was the rare for a sec. Next up is Town Volunteers. Very, very, I like this one even better than the other, the Pokemon Park card. Has a nice little Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Hootie and the Blowfish, whoop, there it is. Very cool looking card. And Slowking Non-Holographic. Pulled that one before. I've also pulled a Slowking in holographic form. Very cool looking card. I believe it did have like a big swirl on it, which was really, really cool. So next up, next up. And like I said, these are all just random packs. I grabbed 10 willy nilly. I'm hoping we do pull not only just a Crystal Lugia, but like a holographic at least. There's some very, very cool looking reverse holographic because those are valuable as well. Here we go. Starting off with a Legend of Zelda Time Shard. Very cool. Ooh. Star Trek Warp Energy. When you attack, okay, I'm not gonna read the card, but you can read it for yourself. Next up is there. Ooh, that's a different type of one. Or maybe that's not. I don't know, that's like Simpsons Porygon or something. Look at all like the different signs. I'll get a little bit closer. I like this one because it has like, it's like a stencil look to it. Very, very cool. No graphics for that one. So it just, it's just different. And that's what I really like about it. Next up. Houndor. This is a different version of Houndor. Very nice. And oh, it's a whooper. Whoop, there it is. But there's two to tango. Two whoopers for this common card. And okay, we got a spider. Very, very nice, I guess. All right. I've never really noticed that. It has like a frowny face on the back. A tentacruel holographic card, and it does have a swirl. That's appropriate. It's an underwater Pokemon. It should have a very nice swirl for the back. That is an absolute amazing pull, and a gold duck reverse holographic once again, and I believe there may be another rare. There is a rainbow energy. But we have finally struck with a Tentacruel. I will be getting this graded, guys, for a type of monthly series that I do on my channel where I get my cards graded and we can predict what we think they'll get. This may have a bit of whitening at the top right. Looks like it does. Maybe I can get that off. Otherwise, centering is perfect for the back. And what's great about these cards, they have this like massive type over here. So you really only need to worry about those because I've only seen those like perfect on those sides. So the yellow borders on the top right in uh, the top, those are basically all what you need to look for. So no scratches, of course, which is great about these new packs. But we finally struck a Tentacruel holographic. I can now breathe like a sigh of relief. <laughs> and partially. <laughs> Just because we finally pulled something, and like I said, all these packs are worth more than $350 each. Obviously, probably not gonna make my money back unless we pull that Crystal Lugia, or even, I didn't even mention it. We did pull the Crystal Nitto King earlier, I did say that. I believe there is a Crystal Kingdra in the set as well, for a total of three crystals overall. Skyridge has like six crystals, and I have already pulled all the crystals. I believe there should be at least one more crystal in my Aquapolis loose packs that I have. That is why I am doing today's video to get amazing cards like this drowsy 
sitting in a tree. Next up, going a bit faster through the cards that we've seen. And hate on top. There we go. It's kind of cool to see the like kind of continuation of the Tyrogue card. Not that Tyrogue is in this. Actually, wait. Is that him in the very, very far back there? It is! Oh my gosh, it is! Tyrogue and Hitmonchan in the back are sparring against each other. I told you. That is what I love about these cards. There is just something always going on in a lantern! Holographic! That is two in a row and we have a small spiral at the top. Can you check it out up there? That's fantastic, but wait! Before we move, we have to check. Centret is just a common and Vile Plume is the non holographic rare card. When I give enough time for Vile Plume, because I do like, like that psychedelic style type of art, I'll put these over here. Let's take a look at this lantern. Oh my goodness. That's perfect. Oh wait, centering is perfect, excuse me. Little whitening at the bottom left, I believe. Oh, maybe I can try to get that off, but otherwise... I don't see any scratches on that one. Lantern Holographic has been pulled. Why are these all upside down? Gotta be very careful putting them in. So there we go. Two Holographics have been pulled. All right, let's go randomize with this. Okay, Caesar. I do like the uh, Arcanine Aquapolis art, other than the Entei, probably the best. Does Lugia have a pack art? I don't know, maybe not. All right, let's continue on. Simple reminder, guys, if you are new, please join the Heart Squad and leave a big old thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, join the Heart Squad. Join the hashtag Road to a Million. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Magnemite. It's just so different looking. I love it. Juggler. It's an interesting looking card there. Okay, they're very mesmerized for that. Oh, she's into that at the very back. All right, whatever gets your boat going. Hopip, we have pulled that before. Volpex, we have also pulled that before. <laughs> I'm sorry, whenever I see this card, <laughs> chuckles just a little bit. Um, eggs. Reminds me of like a jungle card. They're all just like disinterested. Usually there's like a happy execute. Like at least one of the eggs. These are all just like pissed off. Well, I guess he's kind of happy. Mr. Mime is the common. And a very nice reverse boost energy. Boost mobile energy. That's very cool. It's probably worth at least a little something. And Octillery. Should be a non-holographic rare. So, very cool auxiliary card. It's non-holographic. However, this would be the one that we like. Of course, this one has no whitening and perfect centering. So I will put that in a sleeve. And there it is. So, we have one, two, wow, we still got like half the packs to go through. I, I probably should actually hurry this up. I was gonna show you the pools, but we'll get through just another random Caesar pack. Oh, I guess I technically already opened it, but oh, come on, you buy no now. All the packs untampered with. Wouldn't it be fun that way? Here we go. Two cards. And, oh, starting off with the world's best Tinder date. Juggler. Put that at the top of his bio. Next up, Skip to Maloom, my darling. Very interesting looking card in the swamp or something. And, oh. Seriously, I'm about to get teary eyes just looking at this card. I mean, I know it's a happy Cuba, or at least it looks like he is, because he's also juggling, like juggler, coincidentally. But uh, most of the time, Cubone cards are very, very sad. And uh, this one's still making me really sad. Wow! Who knew an Onyx card could be so beautiful? Sunset. We got some Star Trek lens flare J.J. Abrams. What was it? Yeah, J.J. Abrams. Very cool Onyx. That's such a cool looking card. Growlithe. Don't do anything too hastily, Growlithe. You are at the edge of a tower or something. I don't know. I guess he's wanting to uh, stay up to date with the time. And a Tentacool. Very nice. It goes well with the Tentacruel. Not too bad. And very nice. A Hitmonchan. This it's like we're getting old the po we need a Hitmon Lee after this, if there is one. Hopefully there should be one. But Hitmon Chan, he's doing a little punching sparring with a punching bag. And Fire Cube 01. 
That is an uncommon card for the reverse and Apricorn Forest. Wow, it kind of goes with was it like the Apricorn Maker card from recent sets? That's a very cool looking card. Also has like a whole novel on it. Man, you need a magnifying glass for this card. So there goes the streak. I will use this time very shortly just to show you the three pulls that we have done so far. So two holographics. We are still searching for that Crystal Lugia. These are the four packs we have left. I will go with my favorite pack and I will put my call in as I show you the pack. We are pulling Crystal Lugia in this pack. It's legit, complete legit pack. You get one call. So right now, y'all can put my your calls in, Heart Squad. You better do it, because now it's too late. So Crystal Lugia. Hopefully not too much of Crystal Kingdra, but I'll still absolutely take it and go crazy if we do. But I just want, you know, for video sakes, a Crystal Lugia. Starting off with a Healing Berry. Grass Cube 01. Wow, what's going on with that Tangula there? I like the artwork like the other ones. Uh, it's a bit trippy, but uh, I'll take it. I don't know exactly what's going on there, but uh, see, there's a story in every single one. There's mountains in the background. Next up, wow, talk about trippy. We got the rainbow in the background there. Skittles would love this video. It's a lovely, lovely manky that looks like he's as big as the entire valley, and he's pissed off. That's kind of usual for mankeys and prime apes. Chin Chow! Wow, for a second it looked like somebody put like markers on the eyes of Chin Chow. Like those like X's when like somebody's passed out in the old cartoons. Uh, looks like it's jumping off or underwater. That's pretty cool. So Chin Chow, will there be a crystal? No, but it's another Chin Chow with the X's on its eyes. Okay. I, I think that is where the crystal world would have been. Oh, but a lovely Hypno Holographic card. We have pulled it non-hollow, but now we've pulled it in hollow form. That's actually a very creepy card. Let's see if I can get a closer look at it. I think he's like eating the dream of somebody. I, I can't even tell right there. It's too shiny. Yeah, so the, somebody's like passed out right there and he's eating the dream of them. Yeah, that's uh, that takes the cake for creepiest card in the entire world. Uh, but let's check out the other cards. Steelix Reverse Rare and it's Steelix, Evil Brother. So what an amazing pack. I gotta be very, very careful with these. Looking at the Hypno Holographic first and the back, little just a tad off center from there to there, I think. It may be fine. I, I'm just getting a little too excited, but of course the front, from what I've seen, Centering and stuff have been just such like fantastic. So hypno holographic with that. There's the Steelix in the back. Perfect centering. Of course, the reverse would get perfect centering like the other ones, uh, like the boost energy, I believe. So there it is. Just a little bit longer look. A reverse rare Steelix. I honestly like that Onyx card just a bit better, but I will take it. We are down to the final three. My call has already been used. So you at home. Please channel all your powers together to put a crystal. I will take any crystal, even another Nitto King, because my other one is lost in the mail at this moment. So here we go. Gotta love that weeping bell. Very nice. Grass Cube 01. There is the very, very lovely Mankey that hates Skittles. Hit him on Jackie Chan. Growl it. It's so weird where we're opening up packs and we're now like getting doubles because we open up so many. It's in like that feeling. It's just really weird. Chin Chow. It's like been all the repeat shows. Tangula. Psychic Cube is the reverse. And a gorgeous Nine Tails non holographic. Oh my gosh. That's gorgeous. I, I, I really do like this one a lot. Shout out Christy, loves nine tails. So that one's for you there. Down to the final two packs. Let's go with Arcanine. So be sure guys, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, let's get this video to, what was it, 10, 11,000 likes. It's the road to a million, hashtag road to a million. Forest Guardian, none shall pass. Basically that's the Lord of the Rings card. Nidorino's fighting, very cool. Better than just like standing as I see a Chansey, but Chansey looks like she's walking or whatever, so that's cool. 
There's that lovely Grimer card. Magnemite, I'll take it. Execute. A Vile Bloom Holographic. So we pulled it last time non holo style. Now we got it in holo foil form. We got a spider and Entei. Very, very nice Entei non holographic. I don't think I see any swirls off the top of my head there. Centering's perfect, of course, on the front and perfect. No whitening. No whitening, yay, yay, all right. Could have a potential PSA 10 for this one. Very, very excited about that prospect. Vile Plume has been pulled. And just like that, everybody, we have one pack remaining. I still have more Quapolis packs, which I can open if this video does well, if you share this video and it does perform well. I mean, we just opened up like what? A few thousand dollars worth of cards. Hopefully it does well. And hopefully, most importantly, you have enjoyed today's opening. There's a card I haven't really seen. Seer. Sightseer. But uh, seriously, guys, y'all mean the absolute world to me, and I really do hope you've enjoyed this opening. It's only going to get crazier from here, so please be sure to subscribe. It's going to get absolutely crazy the rest of this week. Whoop, there it is. He's very, very sad. That's unfortunate. Drowsy sitting in a tree. Multi-platinum artist. Fan P. I like that one. It's very cool. It's a very happy-go-lucky card. Next up, it's Larvitar doing what he does best, and that's eating rocks. Wind Waker Oddish. I really do like this card a lot. There's just a lot going on. Love it. Goldeen. And now that's tripped out, Goldeen. And... Rapid Dash Reverse Rare. Look at that beautiful, beautiful artwork. And... Ella Kid is the non holographic. Let's take a look at the centering. It looks perfect. Heart Squad, we didn't get the Crystal Lugia, but we got some amazing cards today. And most importantly, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Get ready, guys. More videos this week. In the meantime, click on those right now. You will enjoy them. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.